Blippi. What are you going to eat, Blippi? Yum, that looks good. Oh, wow, so cool. So cool. Yeah. Hey, guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name is Euphoria, and I am a stay-at-home mom of two boys, and today we're doing something a little different, moving away from the desk that I've been behind the past couple videos, and I'm taking you on a day, just, just kind of a day where it's just me and the kids, and we're just hanging out getting stuff done. You will have already seen quite a bit of our morning and now we're just chilling. Yeah, this is this is it. I want it to be as real as possible. This is what's happening. <laughs> so I am now going to just continue to clean, finish things up, but I actually did want to show you guys because it's summer, it's getting hot, and I really need to update my diaper bag for the summer months, add all my essentials, so I thought, what better time than now to show you guys what I put in my diaper bag. I have two children now, so I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I put in there for both of them. We're gonna go ahead and just, you know, continue our shenanigans of the day, and we'll see what we get today. It's really just gonna be a mom life. I'm going in, momming it up, day in the life, just what I do when we're here all day just how we keep ourselves entertained so all right let's do this now is the perfect time for me to just kind of finish picking up I really don't have a good system for keeping all of Jude's toys in his room I try my hardest to get him to okay stay that way bud to get him to keep everything in his room but it's still a work in progress. We aren't great at it, and I'm trying to figure out a good system. He's got a little racetrack kind of set up right here, so. I think that he wants to be near me all the time, but in reality, this could just be a really like, the optimal like space and setup for him to build a really nice track for his car. So who knows what it is. Am I self-centered? I don't know. But before we start the cleaning, I do actually want to um, check on Mr. Kingsley. Let's see what he's doing right now. I like to sneak up on him because I want to see him in his natural habitat. Just see what he's doing <laughs> when he doesn't know I'm watching. <laughs> and this is the disaster I have to um, take care of later. Let's see. Mr. Kingsley, what are you doing, bud? Hi. <laughs> Did you find a ball? You found your ball. I do actually want to do a video kind of showing my whole setup and giving some tips on how to kind of set up a play space or play area for your kids in your bedroom because that's one thing that I really struggle trying to figure out because, you know, like you see, a lot of people with these like perfect playrooms and everything and that's not the case for me living in an apartment and I know that there's a lot of people who also live in apartments and don't have that extra space don't have that extra room to just like create a play area so I want to do a video showing you guys how I've actually turned their closet into a play space or a play area so I'll do that in an upcoming video
Okay. I have tried to do this a million times already, but it has not been successful. Um, yeah, but we're going to move on. <laughs> I put Kingsley to sleep and everything now. It is about 11 o'clock. He's been asleep for about 30 minutes. He usually goes down around like 10 or 1030. But anywho, now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I put in my diaper bag. I like to switch a few things up seasonally just because, you know, when it's summer, you don't necessarily need the same things that you need when it's the middle of winter and vice versa. So I am going to go in here and make sure that there's nothing that I know that I don't need now that it's summer. And I also want to add in a few things that I do know that I will need now that it's getting hot. It is literally blazing now I love to complain about how it's raining and cold and it's just not summer yet but oh my goodness summer has arrived it has arrived with a vengeance this weekend is going to be like a hundred degrees all weekend so you get what you ask for that's the moral of the story I'm gonna go ahead and start by showing you guys my diaper bag that I have right now I got this one from Amazon and I really love it. I got it right before I had Kingsley. So I've been using this for about 10 months now, a little bit over 10 months. I mean, I don't need very much for June, but I still need a few things. And it's able to hold everything that I need for Kingsley, which is amazing. I love this. I like this one. It was like $35, I think. Like I said, I got it from Amazon. I will go ahead and I'll link that one. I'll link my other diaper bag and then I'll link everything, like as many things as I can link down below on Amazon. Um, I feel like I pretty much got most of this stuff from either Target or Amazon, but I'll, I'll link it wherever I can find it so you guys can have it. I'm just going to start in the, the big part of this. Now this does have quite a few pockets, which I also like just to separate certain things. And yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get started with, I normally put clothes and all of that. So starting off, I have some water wipes. I love water wipes. I actually use the Kirkland brand at home. Water wipes are, they're really good just for diaper changes, but also they work amazing for cleaning hands, cleaning faces, cleans everything up, gets your hands like extra clean. It just feels like everything gets really clean when you use these. So really, really highly recommend these for your diaper bag especially. I have a little burp cloth. Now, Kingsley used to, he used to spit up all the time, but now I use these for drool because he's teething like crazy. So I use these for drool, but then I also use them to clean up messes. You can wet them and just use them for whatever. I just love to have these kinds of things in my bag at all times, just because you never know and they're really soft. So I don't have to worry about it like scratching up his face if I have like having to use a paper towel or something if I don't have anything in here. So I just like to keep these things here for multi uses and same thing with the flannel blanket. I use these for like if I don't have my changing pad on me or if I need to lay him down for anything, I'll use this. If once again we have a mess that we need to clean up, like if Kingsley used to, like he used to spit up so much. So if it was like too much for even this to handle or it got everywhere, then I would use this. I can wet this once again. If you don't have a diaper, like if you don't have wipes, if you don't have anything like that, say you are just, you forgot. We forget so many things. If you have this in your bag, then you can use it. You literally have it and you don't use it for so long and it's there when you need it. Now that it's summer, I do like to keep just like a little sweatshirt for Kingsley. I don't have one for Jude, but I'm going to grab a little like jacket just for him, light jacket. I like to keep these just for the evenings because we do live in Washington. And although it is sunny and hot right now, it still does get pretty cool in the evenings. So I like to make sure that I have like a sweatshirt for them just in case. And I've got a t-shirt, just change of clothes. In general, have to have a change of clothes no matter what. I keep a change of clothes for... Mm-hmm, thank you, bud. 
I have a change of clothes for Kingsley and Jude just because Jude is fully potty trained and sometimes he has accidents. They're not full blown accidents as much, but for the most part, I leave these things in here just in case he has like a leakage situation or, you know, like anything like that. Or if he spills something on himself, just in general, you should just one thing, one essential, always pack a change of clothes for your any any of your kids, just in case you never know. And if you want to go above and beyond, then even pack a pack a change of clothes for yourself or at least a shirt for yourself because you never know with the spinning up with the like milk leaking, things spilling, people doing things on your shirt that you know you may not want <laughs> to show to the world. So if you bring yourself a shirt, that would honestly save a lot of situations from you know making, making your day a little bit harder. So this is going to go with the rest of my change of clothes, but specifically t-shirts now that we're in summer and pair of underwear I have I pulled this out already but a little mask for Jude hopefully we won't need to be carrying these around for very much longer but I always make sure to have a few extra masks for him some socks for both of my children I need to put I think I need to put a pair for Kingsley in here I have this bag here it's just uh it's just a plain target bag but I have this bag here not yet but I have this bag so that way I can just like throw any wet clothes or anything in here. I should get like an actual wet bag and I think that I used to have one, but honestly, we don't need these very often. So I've had this in my bag for who knows how long. I have this little teether here. Um, I'll, like I said, I'll link everything down below, but this is really good. It's actually not a teether. It's like a, a kind of like an infant toothbrush. It has little bristles. I don't really use this as a toothbrush for Kingsley and I never really did, but he loves to chew on this, especially now that he's getting a lot of teeth. He'll just gnaw on this. I try to keep at least one kind of teether in here for him just in case because sometimes they bother him, sometimes it bothers him, sometimes it doesn't. I want to make sure that I have something in there that he can chew on so he's not like chewing on his shoes or his shirt getting his shirt all wet or anything like that so i always keep that too i need to make sure that i put my own little things in here and i don't carry like a separate bag or anything i just carry this diaper bag oh and i didn't even mention the fact that this is a backpack i know you probably noticed but I have only carried a backpack from the beginning and that's only because I like to be hands-on, hands-free. I need to make sure that I have my hands accessible and I'm not like continuing to try to like keep a bag on my shoulder. I like to baby carry or baby wear <laughs> and that's something that I do 99% of the time. So having a diaper bag backpack makes it so much easier to actually carry your bag and also carry your baby. If you guys are trying to decide what you should get, I highly suggest getting this. I have two kids now. I can easily pick up one, chase after one, I can, and I don't have to worry about my bag. It makes your back feel better. It's just, it's, I, I honestly, I love it. I feel like if you're a backpack person or if you're not a backpack person, you just try this out because I think it's the way to go. I think it's the way to go. Okay, now I like to always make sure that I have my wallet with me. I have my sunglasses case, but I don't have my sunglasses. I have my sunglasses on the table, but anywho, I have my case in here. And then I always keep a little first aid kit because Mr. Jude, he falls all the time when we're out and playing and stuff. So I want to make sure that I have like band-aids. I have some creams if I need creams. I do have a little like diaper cream in here too, just in case Kingsley ever needs it. So I have this reusable shopping bag. It's actually yeah, like you kind of... Save this for later. Yeah, we'll save it for later. So you basically just like, here, I guess I can show you. So it just kind of like comes out. My husband got these from his work, I think. Yeah, he got these from his work. I try to use reusable bags whenever I can, whenever I remember. And now that they're starting to allow people to use re reusable bags again, I make sure that I put one in just to have. 
this is my disinfecting area. So, <laughs> I have hand sanitizer, of course. I like to get pure rail. I have honestly always packed this stuff. I mean, COVID hasn't really changed very much about what I pack. I've been packing this stuff even before I had kids. I still made sure that I packed these things just because you never know what you're gonna get into. I, I see germs, so yeah, I do that. Um, I try not to be super crazy with it. And honestly, before COVID happened, I was pretty good. Like I was pretty chill with my children touching, well, not my children because Kingsley is a COVID baby. So he has not known a world without COVID. But Jude, I was okay with him like touching things. It's just that now, like, I don't know, I become, you become hyper aware and now everybody's afraid of touching things, but we're trying to get back to it. I will let him play in dirt. I will let him go and play in wood chips and grass and do all this stuff and I really don't care. It's honestly just the people germs that I've never been a fan of. I still will not be a fan of moving forward. But yeah, anywho, did you need to know about my COVID situation? Probably not. I have some hand lotion. Now my hands are extremely dry. My sister got me this, <laughs> working hands, O'Keefe's working hands. Um, because my hands are literally so dry during the winter. Now that it's summer, my hands are not dry anymore. Not like that. So I can go back to a normal amount of lotion, a normal amount of moisturizing lotion. Do not need O'Keeffe's right now. But I highly recommend it if you are actually, like if you do have really dry hands, because it's really, it worked really well for me during that time. So I have hand lotion. That's the bottom line. Next, I have this lip it's lip balm i use aquaphor this is my ride or die have to have it always pack it everywhere i go aquaphor <laughs> and then i have even more hand sanitizer because this is actually for our wagon so we have a wagon that we just like take out on walks when we're here but also i'll put this like in my little bag because i do carry like a little like fanny pack or like bum bag or whatever when we are just like going on a walk or something and I'm not carrying this huge thing around so I'll put like I'll probably repack it because I stopped packing it during the winter because I just needed more things but now that it's summer again I'll probably put most of these things like that I've doubled up on I'll put them in my little bag too so that way I'm ready to go with that so I first off need to restock on some diapers. So we're gonna put that in here. I'm gonna go ahead and just pack all this stuff back in. I use the Kirkland brand diapers. If anyone is interested, I am going to throw a little sun hat in here. I got this from, I think I got this from H&M. I will actually link, I'm gonna link a really cute one that I saw on Amazon that I wanna get for both Jude and Kingsley cause they have like baby sizes, but then they also have adult sizes. So I don't know if I'm a bucket hat kind of person, but I'm willing to test it out. I'm gonna go ahead and link those down below. I have to hurry up because my kid is, he's just, yeah, he's, he's, it's happening now. He's, he's been alone for too long. He needs attention. So I need to, I need to hurry this up. I have my little change of clothes for Kingsley. Just a sh uh, some shorts and a shirt. Now that it's summer, I'm going to go ahead and just put shorts in. And I have... Some shorts, just some basketball shorts for Jude and a little t-shirt for Jude too. I, I'm gonna go ahead and add in this. This is a muslin blanket and this is another one of my holy grails. If there's like only three or four things that I have in my diaper bag, this is always gonna be one of them because it's lightweight, especially for summer. I guess I should have mentioned that. For summer especially, I need to always have one of these in here. Like I'll use this to lay on the floor, like if we're in the park or something and I need to put something, put it down to sit on, like for myself or for the kids or whatever, I'll use this. If I need to cover up like the stroller or something, I like to use this to like cover up their legs in the sun or if I need to do anything, literally, you can use this for so many things. I really love it. I'll actually even use this and I'll like tie it to my carrier to kind of cover up Kingsley if I need to. 
I literally, once again, I use this for so many different things. And then snacks. So if yeah, I, I if, too. yeah, Judy's eating one of these snacks too. ABC bars from Trader Joe's. Love Trader Joe's. And Love the, these. And we got some already. Yep, and Jude has some already. And I have some snacks for my husband as well because, you know, you don't want to see that guy hangry. Trust me. So I put those in the in here too. Yeah, you had one already. That's, yep. So I put these ones in here. I would be packing a lot more if I actually was like going out. But since I'm really just packing for summer and everything, I'm just going to keep these in because inevitably we're going to go somewhere sometime in the next couple days. And we always eat these snacks when we're out, no matter what. So I'm going to go ahead and just put these in while I'm working on this anyways. And yeah, I think that... I think that that's pretty much it. I've pretty much packed my bag up. We are ready for the summer, ready to go, ready to, yeah, just have everything that we need to live a very responsible life as a parent, you know? <laughs> yeah, I don't usually pack anything like that, like toys or anything really in the diaper bag just because we have things like that in the car that we just keep in there for the kids and it's just cool because it keeps them entertained. They have something different to play with in the car that they know that they're gonna play with in the car. So I don't know, it makes it exciting for them or something. So <laughs> anywho, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my alarm because it's probably gonna wake up my child. And then we're gonna go into the kitchen and I'm gonna show you the last minute things that I would pack if we were going on an adventure. So I also um, just remembered that I like to put sunscreen, of course, in the summer. <laughs> in the diaper bag too. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you the little things that I use for traveling with formula. <laughs> so I just use these little things. They're just little dividers so you can put your formula in here. And then it comes with this lid that just has like a little spout. So you have it closed like this. And it actually has like this little thing right here so you can easily pop it off. But you make sure that when you're using this, you'll like find the hole, open it, pour it, pour it, pour it. When you close it, make sure that you re like align it with this thing. So that way it doesn't spill when you're in your diaper bag because that's what, you don't want that to happen. And I also will just like, what I do for when we go out, I'll just grab a few bottles and I'll just pre-fill them with water and then you just have the little formula things so that way when you're gonna make a bottle it's already easy everything is already planned out for you all you have to do is put the formula in the bottle shake it up and you're good just pre-filling the bottles makes it so much easier because you know if your kids crying if you're honestly just being out and having to deal with making a bottle in general it's tough so I recommend using those two things, using those tips if you need to, and it could change your life. I think that that's pretty much it for that. I feel like that took so long to get through. I mean, we should have known. Are we surprised? No, we're really not. So, Kingsley is awake now, of course. We are about to have lunch and all of that. I am going to go ahead and set you right here first and foremost. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and in the vlog here. Well in this video here I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some tips I hope you enjoyed hanging out with us kind of checking out and seeing what I do on a Everyday just normal day when we're just chilling I'll try to do a video to where I do my whole routine like from start to finish All right, and we're back <laughs> I was gonna say I am going to try to do another video to where I will just show you like not just ending it here in the afternoon but actually going all the way to bedtime or at least d dinner time ish and just really showing you guys what I do and how we how we get it done around here so yeah if you guys would actually like me to do that kind of video then go ahead and just give this one a thumbs up so I know I will check you guys in the next video I am really excited for you guys to see what's next but I hope you guys got some tips some really good tips for this diaper bag thing I 
I know I ramble. I'm sorry. I'm working on it. But I hope that you guys got some good tips and I am pretty I'm pretty practical when it comes to my diaper bag. I don't like to put a lot of crazy things in there, unnecessary things. I mean, unnecessary for me anyways, just because it's hard enough trying to carry your baby around. You don't really have to carry your whole life either. I mean, if you do, then that's fine. I mean, I you do whatever works for you. But <laughs> I know that these are the things that work for me. These are the things I cannot live without if we do leave the house. So, yes, I hope that you guys got some tips. I hope that it I hope that it was interesting. And if you are not subscribed already, please make sure that you hit that subscribe. Give this video a like and <laughs> And let me know what is your must have for your diaper bag. What's that one thing that you cannot leave the house without when it comes to your diaper bag? I really want to know. And also make sure that you are following me on Instagram if you aren't following me already because I have a lot of stuff that I do over there. I have some reels. I'm really getting into that. <laughs> and yeah, it's, it's, yeah, we have a lot of fun over there too. So go ahead and make sure you follow me there. And next week we will be back with another video. I hope you enjoyed this one. I don't know how many times I can say that. I just really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy spending time with me. I will see you guys in the next one.